Each year in Texas, over 100,000 children run away from home. And each year in Texas, over 200 children die from abuse and neglect. And here in Collin County, 40% of those without a safe place to live are under the age of 17. City House is a place where children of all ages can find the support and help they need in a safe environment. City House is changing the way our community approaches these problems. City House has been in existence for 19 years. We've been an organization servicing children who've been in crises and kids who, for no fault of their own, have found themselves needing an alternative placement. We have really a continuum of services that are able to serve children between the ages of zero all the way to 21 at a in a variety of different service delivery points. We have a transitional living program where we can work with kids between the ages of 16 to 21. We also have a teen shelter where we work with kids between the ages of 10 to 17. And one of our newest initiatives, My Friend's House, will be servicing kids between the ages of zero to nine. So we really are fortunate in the Collin County community that City House has been an organization that's been able to work with kids who have been in crisis and with our continuum of services, we really can meet the whole child as well as the entire family. City House has truly made a profound difference in the lives of many young people. Julie Moore, a former member of City House, talked about how it's made a difference in her life. City House for me was a safe haven. It was a home when I didn't have a home. It was a place to be a kid, to live within the community and at the same time still be in a family environment. And at this point in my life, City House is still helping me even as a uh, single mother. City House has helped me with even with my rent to get on my feet to a point where I can succeed as a college student, as a mother, as a employee. It's helped me in all different ways. The value that City House brings to the community is impossible to measure, but one thing is for sure. City House provides an incredible resource for our young people who find themselves in need of help. You know, back in the late 80s when my youngest daughter was in about the 10th grade, she had a friend who actually was living in a deserted uh, shopping center, Preston Park, while they were building it. And that was to get away from an abusive stepfather. There was no place, no place for him to go in our community. There was nothing he could uh, do about the situation, move from friend to friend's house, but there was no facility to take him in. So when friends of mine and community leaders began to talk about a place to take in and shelter these kids. I really understood the situation. This was exactly what we needed and City House filled the bill. Otherwise, there aren't enough foster homes in, in our county to take care of these children. So City House is filling a desperate need to take care of our children in our own hometown and this is, uh, this is a wonderful, wonderful agency that we support as a, as a city government. We know we're taking care of our own little citizens right here. Beyond providing a safe, structured setting for young people at risk, City House is doing much to raise awareness about child abuse and neglect in our community. City House is really fortunate. In Collin County, we have Tremendous participation from the community. 
During the month of April, April is National Child Abuse Awareness Month, and every year we host a candlelight vigil in partnership with the Child Advocacy Center, as well as CASA, Code Appointed Special Advocates. It is a way that we reach out to the community to inform the community and bring awareness to child abuse that's happening in not just our community, but child abuse that's occurring across the entire country. Also, we host what we call a Child Abuse Awareness Fun Day. That's an opportunity for the community to come out and participate in a non-intrusive way, but we have bounce houses. We have a lot of fun in the community. We have a lot of community partners who come out and participate in our Fun Day. And we also have a Celebration of Hope concert, and that concert is hosted annually where we actually, again, bring the community together, and it is a way that we symbolize that we are a joint community and partners who are celebrating the fact that we are joined together as organizations advocating for our children. We also host a walk-a-thon annually, which is again as a way for us to, to bring promotion and awareness to our community about what we do at City House. That walk-a-thon is hosted every May, and we typically have it at Arbor Hills Preserve, and that gives us an opportunity to promote who we are as an agency. We've seen and heard about the great work that City House is doing in our community, and we've witnessed the profound impact it can make on our young people who are at risk. But the staff and volunteers at City House cannot do it alone. As members of this community, we all need to be part of the solution. Volunteers, donors, can contribute to City House in a number of different ways. We love the opportunity for volunteers to come and tutor with our children, just to spend time with them, to know that someone cares about them and that they're interested in who they are as a person. They want activities for the kids. Uh, they need to take them to ball games, take them to uh, trips in the Metroplex. Uh, all sorts of activities are available and all you have to do is call City House and they'll be able to come up with things for you to do. They need, they need clothing, they need backpacks, they need pajamas, they need entertainment, they need Christmas parties, they need everything your own kid needs. Volunteer, get involved, get, find, find what you know you can do, how you can help something. If it's, if it's your time, if it's your money, any way that you know how to be involved, anything at all, just, just give it, it helps, it really does. In the end, we'd all like to live in a society where there wouldn't need to be a place like City House. By working together as a community and raising public awareness of the serious issue of child abuse and neglect, hopefully someday we will get there. Until then, the staff and the volunteers at City House will continue to provide a healthy environment for our young people at risk, helping them through their difficult time, from infants to adults. Contact City House today to see how you can help make a difference in the life of a child, a teen, or a young person. They are our future. With the staff embracing the depth of a child, City House will make sure every infant and child will enter, live and leave with a dream and a feeling of playing at another's house. With freedom of self-expression to build confidence, self-esteem, and unconditional love for others.